this video, I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous finish using DIY paint, iron orchid design stamps, and black wax. Let's get started. That looks like about the color of my favorite coral champagne cherries that are grown in like a few places in the United States and they grow out here. It doesn't smell like coral champagne cherries, but it looks like it, but don't eat it. As I'm going to try to get all this detail here, there's a lot going on. So let's just dive right in. I normally have one of those really nice mister bottles, but I left them both at my shop. You can find my spray bottles and DIY paint at Spinola Farm and Company in downtown Brentwood, California. Literally just frosted the very top of the paintbrush. That is such a pretty, pretty color. And that is just like a watered down. So it's, I didn't sand it first because you Usually I just can get like a one coat on, like the first coat that's sort of the primer coat. With DIY paint, there's usually no reason to sand or prime your piece. The highly adhesive clay base will stick really well to just about any surface. For best results, lightly dampen your piece with water. Use long, even strokes rather than lots of short back and forth strokes. It's just about time for a second coat. So you can tell if the paint's dry or not because obviously it looks wet here. But because this is an all natural chalk and clay paint, it will dry really fast. It's really warm out today. So I can probably finish this project up a lot faster than I had originally planned, which is great. No, you're not gonna eat this. No, no. So what I'm doing here is I discovered today, I got all of my new IOD stamps in, and I was playing with them at Spinola Farm and Company, and I put the paint on first with a brayer, and it didn't work so well. Friend that does hair and makeup in the store said, why don't you use a makeup sponge? Who knew? My first couple of times wasn't so great, but I'm determined, and I wasn't going to give up. Don't get your makeup sponge confused with your paint sponge. So I just take one of these blending makeup sponges, just load it up with just a little paint. I just use the paint on the inside of the lid of the DIY paint in little black dress, and I'm gonna go in and just make sure it's lightly covered on the whole thing. Iron Orchid Design stamps are a beautiful way to add interest and texture to your furniture and decor. They are easy to use, but do require a little practice. For best results, try stamping on a piece of cardboard until you get the hang of it. Be sure to apply even pressure from all sides and be careful not to let it slip. So I've got DIY clear wax. No smell, it actually smells really good. All natural. And I just put a little teeny bit on the end of my brush there. So I'm gonna start just this end and just start working my way over. Now you'll notice it's going to look wet and actually in some areas it's going to look really translucent, like I'm taking the paint off. But what's really happening is it's just penetrating deep into the paint. And so what's gonna happen is it's going to just get in there and once it dries, it's gonna to dry to this hazy, it's a little darker than what it already is. And then I know that it's time to buff it. So I'm gonna just finish waxing the front of this and just going in circles like that. You can go back and forth. I just happen to like the, the way that it looks when it's sort of um, soft circles. And then I'm gonna go in with the black wax and we're gonna have some fun. DIY paint black wax is very highly pigmented. A little will go a long way. Literally like that much. And we're just gonna start here in the detail. and see like it's going all over but I am going to be like kind of pushing it in and then I'm gonna wipe it off to the areas that I really don't want to see it. So I'm just pushing it in here into the detailed area and around here and then I'm literally just kind of wiping it off and it'll just sort of stick in the low points in there inside the detail. It's not going to be real obvious I just want it to just sort of be a hint of darkness in there. So let's go ahead and finish this piece up. When working with black wax go sparingly. A little will go a long way. If you find that you've put too much on, you can use clear wax as an eraser. Keep a lint-free rag nearby to wipe off the excess, allow the wax to dry, and then buff as usual. The DIY paint in Cherry Picked was so beautiful and the black wax completely deepened the color. I love the way this lingerie dresser turned out. For more furniture makeovers, be sure to follow my blog at redointeriors.com. Please subscribe! I've got more junk makeovers coming your way. Thank you.